Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sherry. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my June favorites. So I will basically be discussing some of the things that I have been enjoying for this month of June. So before I move on with that, I just want to tell you that June has been such a busy month. June is my birthday month. So I just celebrated my birthday a few weeks ago and also I celebrated 15 years of marriage. It was our wedding anniversary the day after my birthday which was amazing. And what else happened in June? My school reopened so we were able to go back to school and I'm in school and I have a few more weeks left until I graduate so I'm super super excited about that. I can finally just say goodbye to school and hello to the new world of hairstyling. I also had a job interview at one of the salons that I've been wanting to get into and I'm hoping that the interview went well so I can finally say that I, I work there but you know who knows who knows I'm just crossing my fingers and I'm praying every night that it all went well so once I finish school I can start my apprenticeship program and get on my feet on my way to be a licensed hairstylist when that time comes so with that being said I just want to share with you guys some things that I really enjoyed this month so with this whole COVID pandemic thing, I know a lot of you guys have experienced the same thing that I have experienced with, which is weight gain and just kind of being lazy and wanting to get into the ball game of working out. So it was time for me to say enough is enough and I started to get back on my feet again and started working out. For the first part of June, like I think I started this a little bit in May, but I continued on into it in June which was the Chloe Ting workout program. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Chloe Ting. Um, if you haven't, she is basically a YouTube fitness enthusiast. She shares a lot of fitness videos, workout videos, and a lot of people have gained a lot of success and um, results from her videos and wanted to try it out. So Chloe Ting offers free workouts. All you have to do is go to her website and pick the plan that you want to do and you just basically follow the workouts that she requires you to follow each day. And the good thing too about Chloe's workouts is that you don't really need equipment. Um, I think some equipment that you need, well that I've used is just a resistance band. So that's the only thing that I purchased on my end was a resistance band. So I started off by doing the four week summer shred. So I think I went about two weeks into that program and I wanted to switch it up. You know, like I, I liked it but I felt like it was just so repetitive. I like workouts that are different each day but you know I was gaining a little bit of results since I was doing it straight for two weeks I was seeing a little bit of ab, de ab definition so the two weeks after that I wanted to try a different program of hers so I decided to try the hourglass ab and butt program it wasn't hard or anything like that I added a little bit of resistance with my resistance band so I did feel a lot of a burn and you know I did that for two weeks as well and um, I started to see a little bit of a result but I didn't finish because I ended up finding a different type of program that I'm doing right now and I really enjoy doing and that is Peloton. I apologize for the weird lighting that's happening because I'm sitting right in front of my window here and the sun is about to go down and that's why the lighting just kind of looks really off kind of dark but we're just Gonna try to ignore that. So I started doing Peloton just a few weeks ago and I am loving it. The first time I ever heard of Peloton was on one of the infomercial infomercials that I've seen on TV and it's basically about a spin bike. You have a spin bike that you can just have at home and you can do your spin workouts at home as well because the bike has a built-in screen and then has a programs on there. So Peloton is a bike which is a high-end indoor bicycle rigged with a Wi-Fi and a 22 inch touchscreen tablet that streams live and on demand classes and allows the rider to compete with other participants. And so it's pretty cool because you can do it at the comfort of your own home. So I was kind of interested in that, but then I was looking through my apps on my phone and I came across the Peloton app, and you can actually just do it from your phone on your your workout equipment that you have. So if you already have a treadmill, if you already have a spin bike at home, you can do it on the bike that you have or the treadmills that you have. 
Before I move on, I want to say that I'm not sponsored at all by Peloton or anything like that. I just am here to share with you kind of like see my experience using it because I really do enjoy it. And I've been telling my friends and my neighbors to get on it because it's such a good workout. And it just kind of motivates me to get up in the morning to get my workouts in. So with Peloton, when you download the app at the App Store or your Google Play, um, you'll come across the screen that directs you to the main screen and it just shows you the different kind of classes they have. They have strength training classes, yoga classes, cardio, they have meditation, running, um, you can use it for outdoor running, there's cycling, stretching, boot camp, walking, you know the different workouts, you name it, they have it. And this uh, Peloton app, I believe is a 30 day free trial and you're gonna pay after the 30 days. I'm not sure exactly how much you have to pay. I haven't reached my 30 day limit yet. I'm still enjoying it, but I feel like when my 30 day has expired, I am going to purchase the app and I believe it will be a lot cheaper than me getting a gym membership or buying the bike itself because I already have a treadmill and I already have a spin bike at home. All I gotta do is follow the workouts that they have on this app. Like for me, I like to do the running program. So when you click on the running, you'll have different instructors that you gotta follow. If you wanna do a 20 minute run or if you wanna do 30 minute, they have 45 minutes or sometimes, you know, just a 10 minute warm up that helps you build up your stamina when it comes to running, which is amazing. And I usually, for me, I usually go for the 20 minute and 30 minute workouts because usually it's like a hit, a high interval um, training program and I tell you after 20 minutes if I really push myself I am dead like I'm dripping in sweat and you know like I just feel good throughout the day in the way that I did that workout. I just finished my 30 minutes of my peloton run and I am like drenched in sweat. I love it. It makes you feel so good so you guys definitely try it out 30 minutes you can get like this nice and sweaty and you basically feel good for the day like i feel good first thing in the morning get this out of the way i feel so refreshed that is one thing that i've been enjoying for this past few months is working out with peloton i also kind of throw in a little bit of arm workouts in there and ab workouts after my run some of the arm workouts that they have there are 10 minutes which is kind of great to just get my my muscles pumping and then i threw in a little bit of abs in there as well they have it all so if you guys want to check it out i will post the link to the app in my description box whether it's android or whether it's like an apple user i'll, I'll have it in there because i really enjoy it i feel it will be worth it for me to purchase it because you know i don't want to spend too much money on a gym membership right now especially with what's going on out there i feel safer doing it at my home sure it's not as motivating to do it on your own but i get to save at the same time which is better for me so again check it out um not only do they have the classes they also have challenges if you want to participate in challenges they have different programs that you can try out so if you want to do like a four week strength program or a four week you know, running program each day it'll just tell you what you need to do to get to the goals that you want to achieve which is super amazing so I usually do my workouts first thing in the morning. I'll wake up around 7, kind of mope around in bed for a bit and by the time 7.30 hits, I'm probably up and down on my workout equipment and just trying to get my workout in for the day before I head off to school. So after I finish my workout, I like to fuel myself with some superfoods. The next thing that I really enjoy taking after my workouts is this Teamy Greens Superfood Blend. So this Teamy Greens is packed with 16 superfood green nutrients to help get your daily intake of veggies. It helps promote natural energy levels, supports regular digestion, and overall well-being. So I feel after having this, after my workout, I do honestly feel a lot energized throughout the day. I normally have my coffee in the morning, but if I'm drinking this, I don't really take coffee because this has this contains matcha powder in there, a little bit of that green tea to kind of give you that kick throughout the day. So this itself is like my morning coffee. If 
I'm drinking this and I usually do this after each of my workouts so I I like it I just like feeling that energy because sometimes it depends on my mood I'm not always a morning person and I, I always feel lazy throughout the day but once I get these super food blends into my system like I'm out it I'm at it like there's like no stopping me so with this drink it's basically a it's a green powder it just looks like matcha itself what it looks like inside and you could basically just have this, a scoop of this with ice water and some milk but i like to add a little bit of veggies and fruit in it just to give it that extra kick and all that extra source of goodness into my body and it just tastes great when making this so what i like to do is take my blender and then i'll add half a cup of ice half a cup of apple juice half a cucumber i'll put in a whole banana and i'll do a handful of spinach one scoop of the teamies super green and i'll also add in a little squeeze of lemon and to top it off, I'll just add water till I fill the rest of my bottle and then I will give that a blend. And I'll throw that into my teeny tumbler and have that for my morning breakfast. And it is amazing. Like it just reminds me of like jugo juice or a freshy drink or booster juice, green drink, something of that sort. And well, it just tastes so good. So you guys should definitely try this if you're looking for something to kind of give you that energy throughout the day and just not make you feel so heavy. I highly suggest trying this. If you guys want to try it out, I'll put a link to the website in my description box and a link to this one as well because they sell other products too. They also have teas, they have skincare, they have that. So they have the teas if you want to do like a detox tea. They have the teas. I haven't personally tried the teas yet, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I definitely want to try that. But right now, I'm really enjoying my super greens because you get my veggies out of it too. I mean, I'm not complaining because I eat veggies all the time. But you know, the extra source of veggies can't be too bad for you, right? They have their wellness powders. They have natural skincare tumblers and other accessories. And yes, you guys can get all of that because I will give you a coupon code so that you can save some money on some of these good items that they have there. My coupon code will just be on the screen right here. And if you didn't quite catch that, I will have that in my description box as well. So I did also mention that they do carry skincare. So that kind of led on to a seg segue to my next favorites. So I'm going to just share with you what I really like to use for my skincare and it's pretty affordable like I don't really spend a fortune on my skin I do like to take care of my skin because you know the older I get the more I really want to take care of my skin to keep me looking nice and fresh and young these are the products that I have been using for a while so this is my dream favorites but I've been using it before June because you know it's just what I love to use for my face because we are talking about skincare i really enjoy using this saint ives energizing coconut and coffee scrub on my face and like i love coffee and this smells just like coffee so when i'm washing my face it's like i'm really washing my face with coffee grinds and it's just it just it feels lovely i've been using saint ives for a long time and i love it so this exfoliation deeply exfoliates and leaves the skin fresh and glowing and you smell like coffee what what else can you ask for so of course i will use this after i remove my makeup like i have this other towel which is one of my i could probably add it to my june favorites because it is a it's a face towel it's this product right here it's the makeup eraser and i use this to remove my makeup i don't really want to hold it up close because um you know, I did use it to take off my makeup. And I basically, I after I take off my makeup, I'll just go under this the water and I'll scrub the makeup off and it just comes out nice and clean most of the time. So I'll just wet it and I wipe my makeup off and it just comes off and it doesn't even leave this like super dirty or anything like that. So this is kind of like my favorite thing right now when it comes to taking off my makeup. 
So after I take my makeup off, I will go ahead and exfoliate my skin with the St. Ives Energizing Coffee Scrub. And then once I finish with that, I like to use the, the Garnier Bio Perfecting Toner. I've used different toners before, but I just always seem to gravitate towards the Garnier products when it comes to toner, toners because this is also organic and it smells very refreshing. It just makes my skin feel very refreshed it just because it has like that cooling sensation on my skin. And when I do take off my makeup and then I put the toner, I just feel rejuvenated. Sometimes my face doesn't always cooperate with me but lately it has been because of the way that I've been cleaning my face like I used to be one of those people who would just so be be so lazy and just go to sleep with the makeup on but you know that's not gonna do too good for you breakouts and all that unwanted things will happen so I always want to try to take care of my face so after doing my facial exfoliation rinsing it off, I'll go in and tone my face with this product right here. So basically the only reason why I really like it is just the way it helps soothe my skin. Like I like the soothing feeling when it comes to my face. And then after I finish toning my face, I will use also the product from Garnier. It is the Garnier Bio Soothe and Glow Facial Oil. For this one, you can use it in the morning or in the evening. Um, you, can use, you can use it alone or you can use it underneath your moisturizer if you want it to add more moisture to your face. But I usually just add a few drops on my face at nighttime and I'll massage it through and onto my neck and I'll go to sleep like that. And then when I wake up, my face just looks super fresh, you guys. I never knew really what to use on my face before because there's just so many products to choose from. But I saw this and I wanted to try it and ever since I tried it, it I just like how it feels on my face because my face also is very dry. I get a lot of like the flakes all, are like around my hairline and like in the corner of my nose sometimes. So at nighttime, I really try to infuse my face with all the oil on. Like I don't really go crazy and just make my face look super oily. I'll just add a few drops and just moisturize it onto my face and then just kind of you know pat the rest of it on and just leave it go to sleep really nicely and then wake up with really nice clean shiny smooth skin so so i don't really have a crazy skincare regimen that that basically is it for the three like i'll take off my makeup with my makeup eraser towel and then you know these are the three step systems that i use on my face all right so the last thing i'm gonna share with you for my june favorite is a hair product you know my channel is about hair so why am i not sharing sharing with you guys something that is hair related so as you guys can see your girl has a different hair color yet again it's a lot darker well i don't know if what you're seeing here is dark but it's it's more of a steel gray ashy gray silver on the ends and you know the top is just a little bit darker because i just added somewhat of a drop root to my hair because that orange that i had previously was just not doing anything for me anymore me anymore like after the bright orange faded out it just looked like this really bad brassy tone so i just had to go over it with another color so what i did to my hair to give it that ashy gray steel gray titanium shade is i use the joico color butter in titanium this is a color depositing treatment which is even better because my hair was super dry already from coloring it orange like three times you know i was ready to give it up and go for that titanium shade that gray shade that you guys that you guys see here not only am i going to be getting the color i'm also going to get a treatment on my hair which is you know a plus so this is the one thing that i really really enjoyed using on my hair lately because it just needed some extra moisture from all of that coloring that i've been doing so again this is the joico color intensity color butter in the shade titanium does that kind of look like my hair right there yeah so for me i picked this up at 
Cosmoprof, which is a place where only licensed professionals can shop at or students. Um, but I'm sure you can get this somewhere else. I also saw this on Amazon. So if you guys want to check it out, I will post a link to my Amazon, Amazon store and you guys can check this out because if you guys want to have some kind of color in your hair but you also want that treatment done, like a mask, I feel like this is good because my hair feels good right now. Um, I also got a little cut. So it was, um, my hair has grown out at the back so I just ended up having my hair chopped off to like a solid shape. It was longer here before but I kind of got sick of that and I just got this time around my mom to just chop it off like I've been doing my hair all the time myself and I just wanted to give myself a break because I've been doing my hair all the time so I just told my mom can you get a pair of scissors and just cut it straight like I don't want anything else but just cut it straight so that's what I did with my hair and um, I don't know this might be the last of what I'm gonna do with my hair for a while maybe I don't know um, but as opposed to the top part I did do something else on it like I did a whole different uh, technique because my hair uh, my roots were very warm and this did not really pick up all the color so I had to add a little bit of low lights and a shadow root to the top of my hair but the titanium did take on the end so I have the ends looking a little bit great which I love and I'm I'm happy with and I'm not complaining so guys that is it those are kind of like my June favorites that I've been really enjoying for this past month if you guys did like this or if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and I will try to answer them as best as I could Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And check me out on my Instagram accounts. It is Sherry Ananbevo and Glam Star Artistry. Other than that, my friends, that is about it. And I will see all of your lovely faces in my next video.